when you think about social systems, you could say, well, how do people decide whether to participate in a conversation? How do their opinions change because of listening to their friends or the TV or not their friends? And so when a student came and said, I want to take these ideas you guys have been using to think about neurons and about flocks of birds and use them to think about politics. And so this is a student named Eddie Lee, and he was an undergraduate student, a beginning physics student. Uh, he's now getting his PhD, um, working on other things. But during this period, uh, my advice to him was to look at a place where there was good data. Uh, he settled on the Supreme Court, uh, which in the United States is nine people, so it's not a thousand, it's, it's a few, but already uh, some things emerge. For instance, although we usually think of politics in the United States as being very polarized between right and left, in fact, most of the decisions from the Supreme Court are unanimous. So how is it that all these people who have different points of view talk to each other and what comes out is a unanimous decision. We basically, Eddie's idea was, let's use the same machinery that we're using for thinking about birds, about neurons, about other systems, and think about the Supreme Court. And it was, um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a lot. We, we discovered that in physics language, things come out very naturally. And it also shows, I think, how the language of physics, which in some ways is very sophisticated, but in other ways is very simple, has power to describe these systems that we think of as being immensely complicated and subject to all sorts of influences that are very hard to write down in equations. And yet there's a path that's suggested by, by the traditions that we've, that we've developed in statistical mechanics. There's a path to writing down a description of how these decisions emerge from interactions among the judges that seems natural from the physics point of view and turns out to really work in the sense that, that not only can we explain why it is that, that, that the decisions are unanimous so often, but we can actually calculate you know, how often do you expect to see uh, a six to three split on the court and we actually get all those numbers right. Which, which really surprised us.